Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I'm here with, back with another video and I'm here to talk to you guys about these screw down holders or at least cards that are kept in these screw down holders and at first glance, you know, these, uh, these screw down holders, they're like, hey, I'm here to protect your card, you know, but not really, okay? These guys are not as friendly and lovey-dovey as they look. If you use them improperly, which most people did, to store their cards, you probably hurt your card more than you helped it. Okay, so that's what this video is about. If you buy collections or if you're buying, uh, I mean, if it's a $1, $2 card, it's no big deal, you know, but at the same time, if you're buying like a, a really high grade rookie or a really nice card of anything, even if it's for your PC and you're not gonna get it graded, be aware of these screw down holders, guys, because a lot of people did use them improperly and uh, they ended up really hurting uh, the card more than, like I said, helping them. And the way I came up with the idea for this video was something that actually happened to me. So I bought this collection, guys. If you see, there's a stack in front of you. Let me just show you real, real quick. I, by the way, guys, unless it's like a really high grade vintage or like vintage wax collection, I really don't do recent pickups uh, videos. Uh, I only do like PSA submission returns, things like that. If you guys want to see me do recent pickup videos, please go ahead and leave it in the comments and uh, I'll start doing them. I, I didn't know if anyone was really interested, but anyhow, let me know. Okay, guys. So I picked up uh, some of these cards here and just want to show you real quick. They're all in screw down holders. And again, at first glance, they all look great and, and they, they actually do. You know, they, they do look pretty, pretty damn good. But I started taking uh, some of the cards out. And uh, I noticed, especially cards like this that have a colored border, you want to be really careful, guys. Okay, you want to be really careful about buying cards like this in a screw down holder. Or it, it doesn't matter if it has a white border also, but especially the, the colored borders. And I'll tell you guys why. So. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering how large this collection was that I purchased and how many cards actually were in screw down holders, well, here's some of them, okay? There's a few in the back, okay? So this is one of the more notable cards, 56 Ted Williams, gotta love it. Get that focused right there. And then uh, Whitey Ford, Roy Campanella. Again, these are just a few. But if you're wondering how many in total, other than this stack that I just showed you, let me give you a little idea of how many in total. So these are some of the screw down holders that I removed cards from. And yes, there is more. So, let's see if I could zoom out, show you guys. So that is a about 10% of all the screw down holders. I am, have not gone through and taken out the cards yet out of all the screw down holders, but just to give you an idea, I mean, there was hundreds of cards in these screw down holders. Now, again, at first glance, it looks harmless and it's there to protect your card, but I did take out a few of the cards that I wanna show you um, and uh, show you guys why you guys really need to be careful. So again, looks harmless at first. Here's one that was in a screw down holder that I wanna show you guys. I don't know if you could see that. I'm try to zoom in best I can. But at the top left corner, if you look, there is some white. Do you see, do you see that right there? Hope the camera picks that up as best as possible. So if you see there and also, let me carefully remove this. Also the bottom right corner. You see that? Now I'm not talking about the corner tip being white. I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the tip. I'm talking about this whole corner. Okay. And 
this was in a screw down holder and I'm sure the original owner, the guy, you know, put it in there and screwed it real tight to keep it nice and um, protected. But what he really did was he, he squeezed it so hard, the top left screw, that it, it kind of discolored the card. It pressed up against the paper and uh, it just, uh, I guess it just wore it out. And there's plenty of cards like this. I want to show you as an example, but this one was the best one because it had the red border, has the red border or colored border. So be very careful with this, guys, because a number of reasons. One, again, if it's a $1, $2 card or you don't really care about the grade and you just want to have it for your PC, that's fine, guys. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? However, here's the reality. If you were to want to grade this card, Okay, now you're probably thinking, oh, instead of like an eight, this is gonna get like a six. Actually, it's a lot worse than that, guys. Okay, I have tried to grade some cards that I took out of screw down holders, and not only did they grade low, but actually a lot worse, some did not grade at all. And what they did was they came back PSA altered. And the reason why they came back altered is because somebody had screwed down the holder so much that it had pressed and thinned out the sides of the paper, the sides of the card. So at that point, it became an altered card, which to PSA doesn't really make a difference whether you, uh, whether you, you know, uh, paint or, or color the borders, whether you trim it, whatever you do, if you press it, if it's not the original condition it was in, the original size, uh, the original dimensions, it's an altered card. So you do you buy these cards, you know, at the risk of basically them being a total loss. Again, if it's a couple of dollar card, no big deal. Or if you want it for your PC, you don't care about it. But even if you don't care about the grading, guys, I still would definitely take a look at it and be very careful with what I'm buying. Here's another example. I have not taken this one out yet. Uh, again, I picked this up a few months ago, but I'm just now going through here. And, and as soon as I picked it up and I saw some of these cards, I was like, man, I, I gotta make a video. So I did keep this one original the way I bought it and hopefully the camera picks up on it. But if you look, obviously the guy really loved Ken Griffey Jr. because he squeezed the crap out of these uh, corners, if you look, he like tightened this side and he tightened this side really tight and there's kind of like a warp there. So he tightened them so much, it pressed down on the corners. You could even see it without taking it out of the, uh, the case. Okay, hopefully the camera picked that up. But if I could, I wanna zoom into this real quick. And if you see, you can kind of see the discoloration here where it almost looks a little gray. And there, do you see it right here? Because the guy had screwed the holder, screwed it down <laughs> so tight that um, it gave it a discoloration. Do you see what I'm saying? So I want you to take a really good look at that because that's very important, guys. So I will be cracking this out, or not cracking out, but whatever, taking it out and uh, unscrewing it and sending it to PSA. And, uh, oh, you can even see it on the back. Put my finger there. See that? See how it's gray? Yep, see? See how gray that is? The corners. So unfortunately, again, this was like the most optimal way to take care of your cards um, back then. So this is how people did it. But unfortunately, like I said, you do it at the risk of, of hurting your card. So when you're buying collections or even a single card in a screw down holder, be very, very careful, guys, that somebody might have, you know, overprotected their card, if you will. And, um, you know, they, they might have ruined the card. So... Anyway, so let me go through a couple ways on how to protect your cards, guys. I know a lot of people use uh, or definitely used to use these uh, sheets back in the day. I still use these if I'm like completing a set or I have a bunch of random singles that I just kind of want to, you know, don't want to take up too much space. Uh, a lot of people use uh, top holders, uh, top, excuse me, top loaders. Um, and also penny sleeves and then most people do both. So they'll penny sleeve it and put in a top loader. Um, 
and I personally love to use the card saver ones uh, simply because I do grade a lot of stuff to PSA uh, or whatever grading company and they definitely prefer these but even if I don't they take up less space than a top loader so even if I'm not gonna uh, send it in for grading uh, you know that doesn't always matter I just like to not have that much uh, that much uh, I like to save space basically so if you look, the, the top lo card saver one is a lot thinner than the uh, the top loaders are. So anyway, um, by the way, if you do find a card in a card saver, uh, excuse me, in a screw down holder, and you're now more aware of what I'm telling you to be careful of, to be aware of, it doesn't mean it's a total loss, okay? And I'll tell you why. If they had put in a penny sleeve and then in a screw down holder, as long as they didn't squeeze and tighten it up really, really hard, your card is actually pretty protected. Because there was some cards that I pulled out uh, that were in a penny sleeve and in a screw down holder, and I took a look at them, and uh, they were actually pretty stellar. So for one example right here was this uh, Bart Star. So I took a look at this one, and this one was in a penny sleeve and then in a screw down holder, and all the corners and everything looked just fantastic. So again, it doesn't mean it's a total loss. And also, other than it being in a penny sleeve and then a screw down holder, if you see a screw down holder that has this right here, as you can see this uh, cutout for the card, as long as the card is perfectly in that cutout, because sometimes it pops out of place and then it, it either uh, nicks a corner, uh, dings the edge, or it pops out of place and then the, the guy who had it screwed it down without it being perfectly within uh, this section, within the cutout, then definitely you could still have damage to your card. But if they put it perfectly in here, which most people I believe did, and then they screwed it down without the card moving, your card is saved. So that is awesome. As long as it wasn't a thick card, again, if it was a regular base card, you know, one of these, uh, because obviously they're, these were made for like regular base size cards, um, thickness cards. So if it's like that, or if it's in a penny sleeve, and then in a, in a screw down holder, one of these without the cutout, you're good to go. And by the way, I've seen also people have put it in a penny sleeve and they put it in one of these screw down holders with the cutout, even better. Again, as long as they didn't squeeze the crap out of the corners really bad, you know, again, your card is not a total loss. It could be actually really solid if it's in one of these or if it's in a penny sleeve and then a screw down holder. Okay, so just want to be very clear on that, guys. Um, and then let's see, what else? Uh, grab some coffee. Got that when I was in Canada. So, mmm, delicious. Shout out to all my uh, Canadian viewers out there. Canadia, Canadia. Okay, yes, I love hockey cards too. All right, let's see. So that's really about it, guys. Just wanted to show you guys that real quick and just be aware of the screw down holders. Again, some of these, you know, they're, they're, they're really nice and you look at them and they look protected and they look great and you think that, wow, man, this thing's been in a screw down for like 25 years. I mean, what could be wrong with this? A lot of things could be wrong. Okay, guys, so just be very, very careful about that. Um, be careful of the screw down holders. Um, it could uh, really work out in your favor or it could really, really have hurted the card and you could really overpay or even if you don't overpay, just get a damaged card and you don't want that. Okay, guys, again, thank you for joining me. Please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And next to where it says subscribe on the YouTube uh, webpage, there's a little bell. And that is if you wanna be part of the notification squad, hit that bell and choose all. Because if you choose all, you will get notified for every video we post as opposed to just the videos that YouTube wants you to watch, okay? And guys, just an FYI, I currently have a 1,000 subscriber contest running. Please go ahead and check out that 1,000 con uh, 1, subscriber contest because it's... Uh, I think it's pretty great and there's multiple prizes and uh, I do things a little bit differently than most YouTubers. So go ahead and check out that video. It's called 1000 subscriber contest announcement or whatever. Anyway, thanks again guys for joining me and uh, please stay tuned for more box breaks, more vintage wax uh, pack breaks and uh, a lot more information and inspiration on the hobby. 
Thanks again, guys, for joining me. Please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.